Terry tells us that there are five primary grains, wheat, rice, spelt, oats, and barley, that if they get mixed with water become hummocks, and we can't have them, have them or eat them on Pesach. But there are other, many other grains, or, or legumes, or other items like this, which are called kidneys, that the Ashkenazi custom, custom is to not use them on Pesach. So, by, by that criteria, uh, if we just look at the regular, the criteria that are used for deciding which items are similar enough to those five grains to be forbidden as kidneys, quinoa would be included. Quinoa is very similar. It's, it's a small little grain, um, very similar to those other grains. However, um, Ramosha Feinstein and others before him said that the only grains that are forbidden, the only items which are included in the minig of kidneys, are those which were around when the minig started. The minig started a few hundred years ago. People, when in the Jewish communities at that time, the items that they had, which were similar to the five grains, are the ones that are included in the minig. Since quinoa um, was not accessible to these people, who at that time was only in South America, where there weren't any, uh, where there weren't Ashkenazi Jews, therefore, um, he said that those quinoa is not included in the minute of kidneys. So in, in many um, Israeli and certain other communities, um, they assume that quinoa is kidneys, but most American hashtagas, most of the American national hashtagas, assume that quinoa is not kidneys. Um, it is, since it was not ar around in the Jewish communities where the minute started, it's not forbidden at that minute of kidneys. However, um, there is a, a, a related issue, which is that quinoa, as a small grain, is transported and packaged in the same equipment which is used for barley and wheat and other small grains, and therefore there's a potential that there may actually be some of those, some of the, one of those five grains might be mixed in with your quinoa, and therefore um, we recommend that people only use quinoa that's specifically certified for Pesach, where someone makes sure um, that the equipment is clean, or well, that the equipment was never used even for those other grains, to therefore to know that it's completely free of comments concerns.